in today's lecture we are going to discuss about ranging what is ranging ranging is a process of establishing intermediate point in a straight line between end points suppose there are two points two end points suppose there are two station a and b ranging is establishing intermediate point means we are establishing one we are establishing intermediate point in a straight line line ab so we are establishing this intermediate point between n station in a straight line for measuring any distance ranging is required why ranging is required now suppose these are two station that is a and b and if these two points if these two points are far at a far distance apart then if we have a chain of distance 20 meter then if we use the chain directly without ranging what will happen we will measure one distance like like this another distance like this another distance like this another distance like this another distance like this another and finally we will reach to point b means we have measured the distance from a to b but what will happen it is it will not be in a straight line though it appears that when you will take suppose uh, one uh, chain and if you place chain here by observation you may think that this is in a straight line but it won't be in a straight line you just keep on measuring measuring but it is and you will finally get distance ab but that distance ab is not a perfect horizontal distance between this station a and b so before measuring any distance we have to first make a line straight we have to first establish a straight line between between any two station before measuring the distance between them so we add up the process of ranging okay so what is ranging ranging is establishing a intermediate point in a straight line between two a station we can set a multiple number of points intermediate points p1 p2 p3 to make a line straight now this ranging is again divided into two parts one is direct ranging and another is the indirect ranging direct ranging and indirect ranging in your ranging is the process of establishing intermediate point in a straight line it means let it be direct ranging or indirect ranging what we have to do we have to do we have to establish intermediate point that should be in a straight line so when we adopt direct ranging that is when we can establish when we can establish intermediate points when we can establish the intermediate points in a straight line directly by observing ranging rods from either station maybe from a or b means when these two ranging rods at the station a and b they are intervisible they are visible from each other then we can fix intermediate point by direct observation by direct observation from any of the station manje kay jeva apan directly a pasun b kade baghun intermediate points establish karu shakto straight line madhe teva tya ranging la apan kay no it is called as direct ranging means for direct ranging what is the condition this station a and station b should be what it should be intervisible inter visible so we can establish intermediate point by directly observing from either of the a station now what is indirect ranging suppose if there is a some elevated ground between these two rods between these two rods that is suppose this is rod a or station a and this is station b suppose there is a rising ground in between these two rods so that we cannot see the ranging rod at b from a or ranging rod a from b that is these two rods are not intervisible then we have to establish 
intermediate point in a straight line by indirect ranging. For direct ranging, these two points are intermediable, and in indirect ranging, these two stations are station A and B are not intermediable. We will see one by one the process of direct ranging and indirect ranging. Let us discuss the procedure of direct ranging. Suppose these are the two end station, this is station A and this is station B, of which we have to measure the distance. So, we will fix the two ranging rods at station A and one ranging rod at station B. Now, we have to establish a new point, intermediate point P, between these two stations A and B in a straight line. So, what we will do? One observer will stand behind this ranging rod at A at a distance of 2 meter. At a distance of 2 meter, observer will stand here. We will see the line AB. Can see. The observer at A can see the directly line AB. Then, one assistant will hold one ranging rod near to the station P, it will hold ranging rod with at arm's length like this and then the observer at station A will direct to assistant at station P to move either left or right. Suppose observer is here, this observer will direct assistant to move to the left hand side then it will move some left if it goes somewhat at new position then again it will ask to move again to the some again to the some move to the right side so again this assistant will move in the right side like that this observer will direct assistant at p till this rod will come exactly in a line AB. Once this P rod is in the line AB, then observer will bend down and will observe the again this rod to check the verticality because though at eye level it seems to be vertical but at a ground level it may not vertical. Okay, this uh, rod may be held somewhat tilted. So to check the verticality of the rod, observer will, will bend down and will observe the rod and instruct the assistant so that this station P will come exactly in the line A, B. And then observer will instruct assistant to fix the rod into the ground. Like that, some new point P is established in a straight line between rod A and B. Similarly, the other points also we can establish in a straight line like suppose P1, P2 by adopting the same procedure. Means observer will stand behind 2 meter, assistant will hold the rod in hand and observer will direct the assistant till it come exactly in a straight line with line AB. This is the process for direct rating. As uh, discussed earlier, suppose there are two stations, station A and station B and if there is an elevated ground in between these two stations, this is station between station A and B, if suppose there is an elevated ground, so we cannot observe the rod B from A, that is, these two stations A and B are not intermediable. In that case, we will we'll set intermediate point in a straight line by indirect. We will not directly observe the uh, station b from station a we will proceed indirectly how suppose this is station a and this is station b this is station a and this is station b so what we will do now here these two stations are not intermediable so we will select some at random point like station r and station S 
both points on either side of a chain line this set or maybe this set but both points should be along the same side so we have selected these two point r and s in a such a way that from point r point s and point b is visible from and from point s point r and station a are visible okay so two chain men will hold the rod at station r and s and chain men at s will stand behind this rod s at a distance of 2 meter and he can see from s station a and he will direct the direct the chain men at r to be in this straight line psa what it means what will do this chain men at s will ask chain men at r to follow this line to so that this point suppose this new point is r1 so a r1 s will be in a straight line means what we are doing we are doing it number of times we are doing going to do here direct ranging means here we have done direct ranging that is from s to station a we have seen this uh, from st station a we have seen the ranging rod at a and the chain man at s will ask the chain man at r to move forward so that this r rod will come to its new position r1 in such a way that point a r1 and s are in a straight line then next what will this chain man at r1 will will observe the station b the chain man at, at r1 will see the line r1 b along r1 b and it will ask to move chain man at s to the new position s1 to the new position s1 so that this r1 s1 and b are in a same straight line got it what we are doing we are doing number of times direct ranging here again now chain man at s1 will again see this ranging rod at a and will ask the chain man at r1 to move forward to new point r2 again again the chain man at r2 will we can see the uh, this uh, straight line r2 b and will ask chain man at s1 to move forward to new position s2 again chain man at s2 will ask chain man at r2 to move forward so that it will come in the to the new position r3 so that this ranging rod s2 r3 and a in a same straight line now again this chain man at r1 will stand behind this rod r3 and will ask chain man at s2 to come to the new position s3 so that this s3 will be in the straight line that is r3 s3 b in a straight line again this chain man at s3 will ask chain man and r3 to for the new position r4 like that this this procedure will continue till this point a r and s and b will come in a straight line got it we still this till this r s a r s b in a straight line straight line this chain man at s and chain man at r direct each other to move in a straight line got it mhanje apan ithe kay kela these two stations are not directly visible so apan kay kela don ashe at random point select kele r and s either side of the chain line kon dar ekta side la nantar apan kay kela एक्टर 
आर ला डायरेक्ट करेल सो दॅट तू काय नवीन पोझिशन नाही आर वन अशा तसा मूव्ह होईल तो सो दॅट दिस एस आर वन अँड एन स्ट्रेट लाईन हे स्ट्रेट लाईन मध्ये मग पुन्हा काय करेल हा चिरमेन ॲट आर वन हा आर वन च्या रेंजिंग रोड च्या मागे उभा राहील आणि आर वन बी अशी स्ट्रेट लाईन बघेल आणि चेनमेन ॲट यस जो चेनमेन ॲट यस लाईन त्याला काय करेल डायरेक्ट करेल सो दॅट इट विल कम इन अ स्ट्रेट इन अ लाईन आर वन बी सो दॅट आर वन एस वन अँड बी आर इन अ स्ट्रेट लाईन पुन्हा चेनमेन काय करेल एस वन हा पुन्हा आर टू ला डायरेक्ट करेल सो दॅट इट विल कम अगेन इन अ स्ट्रेट लाईन एस वन आर टू ए इन डायरेक्टली we are we are establishing point r and yes in a straight line ab then this procedure will continue till point r and s will come exactly in a straight line ab got it so this is enough for today in the next lecture we will we'll discuss the remaining on sloping ground